Uh, question for Mike. Uh, I noticed that you worked on Firestorm. I'm just wondering, is it much different working on an Anderson puppet show compared to uh, live action? Um, yes, I mean, a, a Jerry Anderson style puppet production is something that doesn't happen very often um, because of the, the, the huge problems that come with you know, having to basically operate a puppet at that height means that your set is elevated. Um, and I know that that caused huge grief to the, the recent um, Netflix version of Dark Crystal. It's just, you know, that sort of puppet show hasn't been done for so long. And the Henson organization obviously are hugely experienced at doing this. But yeah, I mean, Firestorm was an interesting project to do just because everything did have to be elevated. And then you're also trying to you're trying to fight with a with with two things that are pulling in different directions. A Jerry Anderson style puppet show is, by its very nature, an old-fashioned way of making television. And yet, the studio executives want we want it to be like a modern cartoon series. And arguably, you can't make those two things actually meet in the middle to make everybody happy. Either the puppets are going to look slightly grotesque because they've tried to make them too real, or people go, these puppets look too puppety. And the test audiences that, that, that were shown Firestorm vary massively between men my age who go, it looks great, it looks like Stingray, and a bunch of 10 year olds who go, this looks crap, it looks like Stingray. So how, how do you actually get that to meet in the middle? I do not know. That was the same, I understand, that the thing prequel, which gets panned generally, the actual effects work, when you see it on YouTube, the, the thing, the remake, you know, not remake, the prequel, the, the, the practical effects are amazing. And then the execs, they went to the test audience and they same said, oh, it looks too much like an 80s film. It was like, well, that's what we're trying to do. Yes, yeah, so they then put horrible CGI on it, and hence everybody didn't like it, so there was nothing like the thing. Yeah, and yeah. It, it basically killed that company, Stone Dead. Yeah. And yes, I mean, um, um, amalgamated dynamics don't exist anymore. And it was such a such a poor experience for them that they, they gave up, effectively. Wow. I think one of them's still going solo, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, 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 so, it's, it's, so it's soul-destroying that something that you put so much work into, that somebody who doesn't understand, fundamentally, if somebody's going to see a film that's a sequel to The Thing, they want to see giant rubber monsters spewing goo. They do not want to see pixels. Um, now, if you want to go and see Tron, you're expecting pixels, you know. But, yeah, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. And, and, and as a result, Firestorm is still in development hell.